When we think about traditional farming or traditional agriculture, we tend to think of our childhood notion of Old McDonald's farm. Notion that's very bucolic with animals roaming outside, diversified animal and food crops. And traditional agriculture was a lot like that and continued in that way for over 10,000 years. There was an intimate connection and understanding that a farmer had to have with the land, the plants, and the animals in order to be successful. They also needed to be diversified. They had work animals, animals for food, and a variety of crops as a safeguard in case of crop failure. That's not to say that there weren't new tools or developments, but the changes were not extreme. But farming had its challenges, requires a lot of physical labor. Uh, there's always the threat of pests or diseases destroying your crop. Water availability could be a problem, especially in a drought year or even flooding. Too much water could be a problem. Soil quality, uh, some soil is nutrient deficient and not able to support crops. Different crops grow in different kinds of soils. Also weather events or climate conditions could be detrimental to crop success. Uh, farmers were also limited in terms of what seeds or what plants were available for farming, depending on what seeds were in their immediate region, vicinity. There were also limitations to the knowledge in terms of the techniques or strategies for growing food um, and technologies available. Again, limited to the region. And also the risk of spoilage of the crop or the harvest. But early farmers dealt with these problems by purposefully selecting for crops that would perform better under whatever constraints or conditions they were facing. They also selected seeds from plants that perhaps had better characteristics in terms of aesthetics or taste or size and this process was called artificial selection and that is how agriculture proceeded for much of its history. But modern farmers today rely on certain industrial technologies to deal with these conditions. Rather than artificial selection, modern farmers or modern agriculture has other resources like machines, insecticides and herbicides, also called pesticides, irrigation or dams to supply water, synthetic fertilizers, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, greenhouses, high yield variety plant seeds, and resources and investment in research and development for agriculture technologies and transportation and refrigeration to reduce spoilage and to get products to market. With the Industrial Revolution, when the tractor replaced animal power, we saw the beginnings of modern agriculture. With machines, more work could be done with a lot less labor and in a lot less time. What previously took a dozen or two dozen men to do in a field could be done with a handful of men and a tractor now. Eventually all aspects of farming became mechanized from plowing and seeding to harvest and packaging for market. There are machines for virtually every commercially available crop machine specific to that crop. And if you have many machines, you can really do some farming. 
Animals did not escape the mechanization. They are bred, raised, and harvested in factory farms, often not getting to see daylight at all. With more productive and efficient machines, farms were able to get bigger and larger areas could be planted. The farms of modern agriculture are monocultures, huge areas of a single crop planted. These huge fields of single crops are highly susceptible to pest and disease outbreaks. It then becomes necessary to use more pesticides. Also, fertilizers are essential to get the kinds of yields needed to make a profit after all that investment. Also, planting monocultures depletes the soil, further require, requiring fertilizer. These large farms also require a lot of water and irrigation systems. About 70% of all available fresh water is used for agriculture. For example, it takes about 50 glasses of water just to grow enough oranges to produce one glass of orange juice. Technologies in crossbreeding developed high yield crop variety seeds. These seeds are bred specifically to respond to certain chemical use to get higher yields. And with these seeds, it's often necessary to use fertilizers. In some cases, the seeds don't germinate without the use of fertilizers. They are also often bred as hybrid seeds, so these seeds can't be saved and planted the next year. Farmers are required to buy the seeds from seed companies. With transportation and refrigeration, farmers can get their goods to market before spoilage and they could get foods to markets farther and farther away, contributing to what we call food miles, which is the distance that food has traveled from the farm to the table. And the average food miles of a meal in the United States is about 1,500 miles. With this technology, these technologies of modern agriculture, we have this illusion of freshness and farm-grown food. But we have to consider the consequences of these technologies and the effect it's had on agriculture, the environment, and people.